All right. Well, what I'm going to do this game, guys, I'm going to leave the music off, and I'm going to talk this entire match um, about uh, GP. If I'm not Essentially, uh, you can look the masteries up from, like, this replay, um, but it's 12-0-18, grasp. I'm going to go corrupting pot. Uh, the runes that I'm using are a little fucky, but the idea is 80 quince reds, armor yellows, and MR blues are pretty much what I do when I'm smurfing. This has, I think, scaling CDR, but that shit don't matter. But I'm going to explain um, everything that that you need to know about GP in this video, from how to lane, um, obviously this matchup. Uh, what I'm thinking. This is going to be kind of like a lightning fast commentary of old. I don't know what the hell I'll call these videos. Uh, but it's when I'll go into the weeds on everything that you need to know about um, the game. So here we're going towards blue because the things that can happen is sometimes you can lose blue if you're not paying attention. Ideally, you never want your jungler to get cheesed and lose a buff without you being aware of it. So you always want to be around here. Uh, that's super important. We're just going to kind of patrol back and forth just to make sure that no one sneaks in. It's a Moomoo jungle, so I highly doubt that anyone's going to be um, doing anything sketchy. But you got to make sure. Just to be nice to your jungler. Just to help him out, make sure he doesn't get screwed. Uh, he's coming top, so what's going to happen is I'm going to give him an auto Q leash. I'm not going to give him a big leash because I want to win lane. Uh, looks like he's going red, so we're going to go into lane early now. And I'm going to show you how to dump on fewer. Or we might get dumped on. Platinum players aren't that bad mechanically. We could lose sometimes. Most of the time, though, I don't lose this matchup in lane. This is a matchup that I tend to win. Um, as long as I don't do anything, like, totally retarded. So, right now, I'm not going to push the wave. I emphasize uh, Q harass when I play lane. Um, I'll miss farm to Q harass. I want to tilt the lane opponent. Like, that's just how I play. So you're going to see me do like really bizarre zoning like that. Um, this is just how I am. And uh, we're going to just keep the pressure on this guy constant. And just keep every time Q's off a cooldown. Notice I'm not, I'm not giving him any space to do anything. Here I'm going to spike level 2 and run forward. Here I'm staying on him because I'm level 2, so that trade will go my way. Also, I have Corrupting Pot. I'm giving him vitals because I really don't care. The other thing is Graves is topside and it's a Moomoo jungle, so the odds of me, like, getting beat here are pretty slim. I'm going to run a Corrupting Pot right now. And we're going to just kind of heal up with Grasp if we can. Here I do the melee harass trick, where uh, they never expect you to actually like barrel harass with melees. But, like I said, I'm always keeping the pressure on. Notice the farm is getting pretty bad for this guy already. Um, it's because, like I said, I, I emphasize winning lane. I emphasize winning lane and getting my lane opponent low, if I can. I know that he has um, Q up a lot, or I'm sorry, W up a lot here, so he's going to try to use it. I have enough for a triple barrel, but if I triple barrel and he didn't, uh, I might try it anyways because triple barrel is kind of hard to read. Hmm. Yeah, so I want to give it a try because if I can hit him with it, I can kill him. Uh, I'm going to push the lane. Just keep pushing because it's a movie jungle and I don't care. I just use W, so I have to probably flash any CC that I see. Yeah, he's just trying to gank. Like, you can tell. It's pretty obvious because of how he plays it. So, I want pressure top. Like, I really don't care if a uh, movement comes top. This is retarded. So, I get max value out of that situation. I get a flash and I get a Jace Roam. Um, I don't know how he has double buffs there. I'm going to TP back into lane with Dorn's Blade and a Cloth Armor here. Because that makes the most sense to me. I'm also going to try to run up and stop that guy's back if I can.
close. Um, either way, the lane is in our favor. Uh, I think I got two flashes. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm gonna have the lane pushing to me now, which means I have lane control still. Notice we're up by 17 farm. Pretty standard in this matchup. We're gonna let it push to us. So that means I'm just going to be last hitting and try to zone this guy if I can. Uh, we're gonna try to trade with Q sometimes. I gotta thin the wave though, because if I trade with Q here, it's gonna really fucking hurt. Because the minions are gonna turn on me. So yeah, this is a good spot to be in. Because now, if he if he goes for it, I have Dorn's Blade, so it's pretty hard for me to lose lane at this point. Dorn's Blade and Cloth Armor. We're just gonna strangle this fucking dude. Um, notice his CS is 13, ours is 35. And we got three man ganked, and we had kill potential on the lane, and forced a lot of, uh, probably a lot of pings from this guy to try to get help. Like I said, this is not Tobias GP. This is, well, essentially Mankey, um, Monkey, however the fuck you say his name, GP. He's the only, well, he's the person that I copied originally. But it was kind of how I played Thunder Wars anyways. So, same thing as before. I'm just going to keep fucking with this dude. Constant. Um, yeah, it kind of hurts. Oh, we got to look for all opportunities. Thanks, Ego, for the $10. Love you, buddy. Going to use our Corrupting Pot to stay topped off. Uh, this guy is just getting obliterated. He's not even... He's super scared. And this is also uh, added benefit of playing confidence. You make your lane opponent think that he's better th or that you're better than him, and he just won't challenge you. So he's just getting butt pounded. So I'm just gonna keep it up, keep chilling, keep relaxing. If he gets out of line, uh, I will, like, go in on him. But right here, all I'm thinking is, well, shit, if you're not going to farm, I'm just going to extend my CS lead and gimp you, make the game 4v5. If you're not going to challenge me at all, that's fine, too. If he's super, if he's that intimidated by me, and he clearly is. I mean, the dude's not even trying to, oh, missed that. He's, like, so intimidated. He's, like, not even... And that's part of what we're trying to do with uh, the playstyle as well. Here. I think I'm dead a lot. But we're pulling a lot of pressure top. There, three manned again. It's not that big a deal because at the end of the day, my wave hits the tower. Uh, the only problem is I don't have teleport. Oh, wow, he pushed. Okay, he's a retard. Cool. So we're great. We're in great shape. Uh, bot lane's getting punked right now. They almost get shit on for that, but uh, it's not that bad. And Fiora, she doesn't really have any items. She should be autoing the whole time because now, watch this wave. It's going to park right here where I'm scrolling my mouse. And these are... And, you know... I'm not, like, warding. I don't even care if they come top. Like, I'm being kind of cocky here, but um, this is, like, lower-ish elo. Oh, my God. This Jace is about to get fucking... Oh, never mind. He's about to get shit on. <laughs> so, yeah. Same thing as before. Um, Fiora should have definitely not pushed that lane uh, and just back and reset. But, again, double the farm. Even with double three-man ganks. Still have total lane control. We've got Sheen now. Uh, I could finish Tabby's, but I wanted Sheen so I could poke this guy harder. Um, I just feel like he's a weak player, so I want a little bit more deeps. So here, yeah, the trade goes his way, sort of. But the reality is that once his W's down, he can't do anything. So... Gonna just sit here and extend lead. This is kind of boring, but like, it's his fault. He's not confident. So, co players that aren't confident, you this is how you beat them. 
You just keep them off a of farm. Notice how I'm just last sitting. Like, I'm not fucking spaz pushing or anything. I'm just keeping the lane on my side. Discouraging him from farming. Just strangling all the CS, dude. Right there, there's the trade. And that's kind of why he's intimidated, I think. So, Graves is looking for an invade. Uh, I'm gonna shove just so I can assist. And I think, yeah. And I'm gonna ping it. And then I'm gonna run out here and zone. Graves has a dive opportunity. Fior's W is up. And then there's the easy dive. And this guy loses all of his farm. So he is super ridiculously behind of his own, like that's his own doing. And that's what happens when, oh, I better watch bottom. I'm gonna ult bottom here. So that we can deny the tower. And uh, I know that we get first blood on the tower, so it's all good. And now I am going to shove this lane in uh, back and I should be pretty close to Triforce, I would imagine. I'm gonna try to get there. I'll probably just stay until I have it, to be honest, because I'm not too intimidated right now at the moment. You don't get it by farming this badly. Hmm, I'm just gonna stay, yeah. I should be alright. As long as I know my limits with without W, I should be okay. I'm not gonna harass the guy. Oh, Graves wants to dive sometimes. Yeah, I'm poking him down so that Graves can dive if he wants. Uh, I'm not helping there because if I go back there, I'm gonna die too. So I'm just letting him go and taking the trade. I also haven't bought yet, so... I'm tryharding for the purposes of this, of this video. Like, if I was playing something that I don't normally practice, like Fiora, I would probably just go back there to challenge anyways. Uh, just to push the limits. But because I know exactly what I can and can't get away with is GP, I know that diving back there, I'm just letting... I'm basically just letting Graves do as much as he can back there. Because if I go back there, um, I'm definitely dead. Like, there's no way. Like, with the items I have, there's no way I live. Uh, you can TP... Uh, up there, but it's like not necessary. So uh, we're walking up here and my thoughts are I have Triforce. Fiora can't 1v1 me right now. Uh, Amumu can't. I don't, I'm pretty sure I can 2v1 reliably. So this is what I would be thinking on a, on a low elo like Smurf account or something that essentially I know that I can't fucking lose. So I'm going to stay top because I can fight everyone. Uh, now I see two at dragons, so I'm gonna shove in and bully the shit out of this guy. Uh, my team's fighting. I'm gonna try to see if I can ult anything. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna try to hit both. Oh, I'm getting all in at the same time. I'm lucky. Your all in sucks. So he just ulted while I was paying attention to bottom. That's a really wild all in. Like, kind of retarded, because there's no way he kills me there. Uh, so he backs away, so I'm gonna zone now. I just got double assist bottom. Yeah, I'm gonna zone him here and just, uh, take my time with the tower. There's no rush. Uh, someone could come up for me sometimes. Yeah, I had a feeling, but I had flash. Uh, I don't mind drawing pressure like that because I know that if I draw pressure, normally I can get out. And that also means that my team's getting to get something out of it. Now, if I see Twitch move to mid, then I'm going to stay. I'll probably just stay anyways because I'm cocky. And I'll just do it. 
Yeah, I'm gonna stay and pressure the tower because I don't think they expected me to stay because I was so low. And now I'm waiting for my Triforce every time it comes off a cooldown. I mean, if you want to do this... I gotta leave. I might... Go fucking with that Twitch might have just got me killed, possibly. Okay, Graves has some disengage. Oh, Moon dodged the... Hmm. Okay, Graves is dead again. Nope, 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 nope. Maybe? No, nope, there's nothing there. He helped me a little bit. But I think I was out regardless of if he helped me. Because Moon Moo walked around the cloud. So now I'm going to TP to bottom. Uh, TP to bottom. Probably just gonna go damage because I'm fed here. Like, damage-ish. I'm still gonna wind up going, like, Sterics eventually, probably. But here, the wave is pushed in. So why not just break my third tower? Um, there's no point of, like, not using TP to break tower here. Like, you want to snowball objectives. Because that opens up the jungle. So, shove this wave all the way in, because we can do it quickly. It should be fine. I have everything up, and I'm pretty big now. Twitch is there, but he's useless in comparison to me at the moment. I mean, he's 3-1, and one, but, like, he can't fight me. I'm too fed. Uh, we make a Moomoo think that this camp is gone. We lucked out. So, he's not even gonna... Oh, 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 oh. Twitch is hanging. I don't want to get caught by Twitch, though. I don't have Sterics either, so he's gonna hurt if he all-ins me. I'm tempted to try to kill him, but my team isn't, like, see, my team isn't having, they have no pressure. I really want to just, like, ult and engage this guy, but, like, my team has no pressure on the map. We're gonna hide right here for a second. Let's see if we can catch a Moomoo being a, a derp. We can get him to panic and run away. Uh, here, if Twitch pushes up to those minions, I'm going to ult and kill him. I don't know if they have vision of me. I'm trying to, like, wiggle and not... Oh, yeah, they have vision of me. That sucks. Hmm. All right, fine. Well, we're just going to push now because I'm bored. Okay, so here's Jace. That means Twitch is around. Yeah. The way he's pathing, like, directly at me means he's confident. Players play pretty face up at the silo. So generally speaking, if someone paths at you that you beat, that means that you're getting Twitch uh, engaged on like nine times out of ten. So it's very important that you understand like the posturing as opposed to just like, oh, he's a dumbass. Um, he tries to kill Lulu. He doesn't have kill potential there. Here, I'm going to go ahead and just hide in the bush. Go away. So here, I'm just going to wait. Outplayed. GG. I'm just going to wait and see if Twitch pops his head. Okay, so he shows mid, so we shove immediately. See how he shows mid, and we instantly shove? That's how you make sure that you're um, getting value out of the situation. Uh, he's going to show up top sometimes, so I'm going to keep my barrel like this. Yeah, I think Twitch is here now. Yeah. I don't see kill potential with my ult at the moment. So I'm just going to shove this wave in. Uh, and probably creep the bush a little bit longer. My team is pushing, so I really don't want them to... I don't want red team to ever feel like I'm not going to push when my team's drawing pressure. So you're always going to see if my teammate's drawing pressure, I don't leave my teammates out to dry. We're going to try to bait him into doing something stupid. Okay. So I'm trying to get to level 13 if I can. Um, I mean, my teammates, I don't know what they're doing. They're like inting or something. But I'm probably just going to go Sterics. Just so I can play a little bit more aggro. We're going to go the team fight ulti. I used to think that Def's Daughter was better. But Def's Daughter uh, doesn't have nearly as much damage as the the other one. Whatever it's called. Fire at will. I used to think it did, but it doesn't. So we're going to go back to bottom. Like this is, this is like routine low elo type of game. Like you draw the pressure. 
you're still the biggest in the room, even with all the pressure that's brought, like the three-man ganks. And then, like, yeah, some games you're not going to have, like, fancy stats because of how weak everybody plays, like, passively. But the idea is you control objectives. Here, I'm definitely going to go ahead and... Oh, he blew him up. I was going to say, I'm definitely going to ult here. These guys are dead, by the way. This fight is over. Like, there's no fucking way that they ever... There's no way that they ever win that fight. Like, they're fighting... They're going to be fighting Fed GP off of their turrets. They want to be under their turrets, not off of their turrets. So that's just... They're, they're basically losing the game right there. Here, I can dive because I don't care. And that's it. Smuff GP, dude. And yeah. I should probably back up here because sometimes we get engaged on. Uh, and I don't want to give my lead away. And I just pop Sterix. So like generally here Fior is just fucking nuts so. Hmm. I thought maybe I could kill. Yeah. But I, I'm thinking at this point like after we won that team fight, just take a breather, like reset. I'm actually just gonna go the standard, like beefy GP. And you see how much damage we did on that dive. Like we can just dive there. Lulu holding turret or whatever, no problem. It's not even close. So going back and, and notice, like I don't, I really do not, it's not me just saying that to sound cool. Like when I tell my clients and coaching like, no, you need to learn how to be your own man and how to play around your split. Like, when I play on accounts like these and I'm really trying to win, like, this is a video of me really trying to win just like it would on a fucking, like, a Smurf account that I'm trying to get, like, 80-90% win rates on. Um, this is how I would play. I, I very, you will very rarely see me leave bot, and it's because I would rather 1v1 people than get fucking caught. Uh, that's just how I am. So we're gonna reveal here just to make sure that we don't get cheesed. We're just going to wait a second. Uh, Twitch is going to invis, but I really don't care. Unless, unless he brings somebody else, yeah. Uh, I'm dead, so I'm just going to waste as much time as possible here. Much time is humanly possible. That's all I'm trying to do in that situation. So it was like four. There's, they're all collapsed on me there. So get as much out of that situation as you can. I didn't really want to flash, but I couldn't dodge Jace EQ here. So I have to flash it. There's a chance that if they leave me alone, I can go here and I can W and walk out. But if you're playing, for the record, if you're playing Thunderlord's GP, you can never kill Twitch. He'll, he'll burst you. Like he'll blow you up, unless you're playing like exhaust or something. So now we're just going to TP to make sure that we win and there you go. And that's GP 101, homies. And this is why I say like KDA, like KDA and, and it's fucking stats and yada yada. People having like fucking 20 kills on G. It doesn't win as consistently as what I just did. Um, yeah, you can like swag on people and snowball sometime, but it's not really, it's not what the game's about. The game's about controlling your lane and winning objectives and making good decisions. It's not about getting like 30 kills and two deaths. So yeah, there you go. Thanks for watching YouTube. I'm out. Peace, crackers. Fuck around, you.